Okay, the recipe. I got this recipe off of budgetbots.com. Been on that website a lot lately. And um, so I'm going to make the sauce first. And I'm not going to measure. I'm going to just... I'll put the recipe down below or the link to the website. So it calls for two tablespoons of soy sauce. Looks good to me. A tablespoon of, and I didn't even open this yet. Toasted sesame oil. Mmm. Dude, that smells good. And a... I hadn't opened this yet either. Tablespoon of sriracha. That'll be a little spicy. A little spice. Add a little spice to life right there. And a half of... Tablespoon of brown sugar. And... My brown sugar is getting hard, but I'm going to just use about that much. Sounds good to me. You would think that this is an airtight container. Obviously not. I'm going to stir this up. that brown sugar dissolve and I'm going to start cutting up the cabbage and I'll use this in a recipe if you watch my meal planning Monday video you're going to see what I do with the other part of that cabbage All right. I say we just start chopping it thinly Okay, I'm going to get the skillet going, and the recipe said to cook the meat first. Let's follow a recipe. I buy this meat from Walmart, and it's in the frozen section, and it's a lot cheaper normally than what you find. <laughs> you think my knife was dull. It's serrated. And this is one pound of ground beef. But it's a lot cheaper. Well, I say a lot. It's usually cheaper than what you find in the fresh. And it's frozen, so it just goes from Walmart freezer to my freezer. bit of grease in there but um, I think I want to fry the cabbage in that so I did cut up some onion which is under there and I just grated big grate um, some carrot but I'm gonna go ahead and add the cabbage in that's a half a head of cabbage that is a lot of cabbage Oops, making a mess. Making a mess. But it will definitely wilt down. That's going in.
Okay, I think that's about how I would like my cabbage. I don't want it too wilty. I want a little crunch to it. So I want to go ahead and add. Easy recipe. Easy, easy recipe. I'm going to taste. You always want to taste before you serve. I think I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And let it. It's hot, I know, so I'm going to put it in a bowl and let it cool off a little bit. The recipe calls, calls for sesame seeds or toasted sesame seeds, and I don't have any. And I love cashews in my uh, Chinese stir fries or whatever. I don't have any of that either. But I do have some sunflower seeds. So I'm going to when I make a bowl I'll put a little bit on top. Let's see. Let's see what this tastes like. It's good, but I added garlic. I didn't add any salt, so I need some salt. Get me a little bowl here. Taste it again. It's hot. Much better. That's a pretty cheap frugal meal right there. Some hamburger meat and some cabbage. And I had the carrots. So I was like, throw some. Well, the recipe even called for carrots, but it's like, oh yeah, put carrots in there. Okay, I'm gonna make me a bowl. Just a dash of sunflower seeds. Let's spice it up. This bottle is a little hard to squeeze. There. That's it. You know the drill. It's time to eat. See y'all in the next video.